Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So yesterday's Yu-Gi-Oh! Digital Next revealed four new, well three new titles I should say, but four pieces of news and the other uh, piece of news that was not under the category of a new title was that Arc 5 World was coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now yesterday I reacted with a bunch of you guys and again thank you all so much for being there to the announcement uh, all the announcements at Digital Next, and yesterday I did a video giving my thoughts on Arc 5 World coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and why I kind of have mixed feelings on the matter. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk way too preemptively and early about a title that got announced at the very end of the Digital Next presentation, and that is Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel. I'm not going to talk probably ever about the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel game, although I think that game seems like a lot of fun. We still have to wait to see what the uh, microtransactions and potential paywall situation is going to be, but I think that game, it looks beautiful, and I think it's got the potential to really be a groundbreaking game, again, depending on some other factors, but I'm not going to make a video on that game uh, until it is released, and I, at that point, I still don't know uh, if I am, but in today's video, I want to talk about Cross Duel. The only thing that we know about this game is it's a four-player game, and it will be released on iOS and Android. So this is not a game you can play uh, for PC, it's not a game you can play on console, at least at this point in time. And in the trailer that we saw, uh, there was a few words, and the words were friend or foe. And I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duels is a bit of a dark horse here. I think it's got a lot of really good potential to be a really fun and wacky Yu-Gi-Oh! game. I think that this game could end up being like Yu-Gi-Oh!'s version of a Battle Royale even, which is hilarious to say that Yu-Gi-Oh! might be getting like a Battle Royale type game. The promotional artwork reminds me a little bit of Dungeon Dice Monsters. I'm not sure if anyone else gets that vibe. I don't think this game will have anything to do with Dungeon Dice Monsters, but the squares as they expand to the middle and kind of protrude outward to the four corners just reminds me a little bit of the dungeon dice monsters theme i don't know if anyone else kind of picks up on that vibe i again i don't think there's any correlation there but i do love the way that the promotional artwork looks for this game i believe that this game really needs to be wacky and needs to stand out uh, as much as it possibly can. And I think the way to do that is by making it super unique. We have a game that is coming out that's going to be focused on Rush Duels. We have a game coming out that is going to be focused on Master Duels. So this game has to be very different in order to be worth playing. And I think the one duel that this game is going to be based around is the duel in Battle City right before the semifinal started. In fact, a, a duel that dictated how the semifinal matchups were going to play out. And that was the duel between Yugi Moto, Joey Wheeler, Yami Marek, and Seto Kaiba. If you remember in that duel, you could form ally ships and bonds with people temporarily, but you could also attack them if you had to do so. It was not a traditional two versus two. It was not a traditional tag duel. It was literally Yu-Gi-Oh's version of a battle royale, and I believe it's the only time we've ever seen something like that. But this game, the way that it's being set up and, and portrayed, you don't know if the character to your left is going to be a friend or a foe. You don't know if they're going to be an ally or someone one that might turn on you mid-duel. I think that if they make a game based around those aspects, I think it could be so freaking fun. I think the stream potential is amazing. I mean, imagine watching, you know, MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Nim Nim and a bunch of other, you know, big Yu-Gi tubers uh, streaming on Twitch in a VC with each other and, you know, playing against each other and, and turning on each other. Like, I, I think that even if you're just playing with three of your friends, I think that that is such a fun concept where you can, you know, form partnerships with people, but you don't know if they're actually going to turn on you or maybe you're going to turn on them. And I think 
as someone who enjoys watching other people duel, uh, obviously I love the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, so of course I enjoy watching other people duel. I think the viewership potential of a game that is set up like that is so fun because it is so unpredictable and it is so chaotic. And I think that's the aspect that I would absolutely love. I mean, before anyone can attack, imagine if everyone's board is two extra deck monsters and two set cards. And the combos that you could get off could also be ridiculous. Another duel from the anime that I thought of with friend or foe was when uh, Fujiwara Yusuke in Season 4 dueled Judai and Johan. And there was a moment in there where... Fujiwara says, you know, this isn't a traditional two versus one. I made this a triangle duel so you guys could attack each other because he's trying to turn Judai and Johan against each other. And for a minute, it looks like it works. Johan, I believe, attacks Judai, and it looks like they've turned on each other. The bonds have been severed, but it was all a ruse. They're able to use an effect based on taking damage, I think. It's been a long time since I've watched that duel. Season 4 duel in GX. I think it's like the third or fourth final duel of the show. Very, very good duel. Highly recommend it. And then Judai and Johan end up, uh, you know, attacking Fujiwara Yusuke. But that was a duel that was set up uh, as a 1v1v1, a little bit of a battle royale duel style as well. And the story of that duel played into that theme really well of not knowing if the character or the person next to you is going to stay on your side the whole time or if they're going to actually turn on you and and go after you and i think i i think this game needs to be wacky we have duel links we're gonna have this master duel game we're gonna have this rush duel game this game needs to differentiate itself i think it's going to and i think the way to do that is have a chaotic battle royale version four player you start left to right no one can attack until everyone's had at least one turn and then the chaos the madness the fun starts uh 8, life points obviously maybe you even have everyone you know have 16,000 life points to try and avoid otk in case you know three people team up on one person uh you know maybe you do something like that and maybe there's a mode in cross duel where you can do a traditional two versus two duel style and you can do a traditional tag duel as well but i would like to see this game uh kind of think outside the box and give us a Yu-Gi-Oh style video game that we have never really seen before i think they're going to do that and i think it's going to end up being a lot of fun but Yu-Gi-Oh cross duels man i want to know what you guys think and what you guys are expecting from this title again it's only going to be on mobile uh, it's only going to be iOS, Android, as far as we know. I imagine if the game does well, maybe it'll come to PC, but, you know, no information on that. We literally know nothing about this game. I think we're going to get more information in the coming weeks, but still, I really want to know what you guys want to see from this title and what you're expecting from Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a special thank you to my Platinum Tier Patrons, Horace May, Goosey Q, Panther J, Blue Maiden 28, and Jarrett Bueller, and to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jesse Wood and Latrell Smith. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and who is a YouTube channel member. You guys help me out tremendously. I am so excited to hear all your thoughts on anything Yu-Gi-Oh! Digital next, and specifically Yu-Gi-Oh! Cross Duel, the mysterious video game. Thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you down below, and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, guys. Wow.